An aggressive push from Tensar. They're showing that. Wow. Rust just comes through, takes one pick down, and Miller was not expecting that. Lowell. No other way around. And now they know. Now they will be ready to stop the plant for as long as possible. But Alarante, as always, gets a kill out of the yeah. blue. Yeah. They're going to get the spike down. Oh, a headshot onto Stanley, but it's through the wall. It won't kill him quite. Down to 54 HP. 3v4, and here we go. Tensar are going to show us what they're made of with this retake. Tar goes down. Nice covering from Brody. Lowell is going to be the first contact. Stanley does not check that corner. And Brody, he'll get one pick, but Pathetech is there for the trade. And now it's just Cray by himself here with the Ghost. Looking for all three heads before he can find that spike. Oh, a close miss. Um, yeah. And they push here, and we're going to get our first engagement of the game. Of the round, sorry, not of the game. There's always been a few of those. Russ, he'll take the first pick down. Oh my second. god! Stanley's there with the Sheriff onto Alarante. In comes Colby and a lot of damage is being done. And Milwa, he gets one, but Russ is there for the trade. And Tenstar just dominate the second round. On the A site, Brody. He's right around the corner. Polby, he's over in Maze. Oh, he won't get killed. He'll get himself in towards the smoke, but Alarante takes a pick down. Cray takes a trade and Monster with a trade for the trade. So Stanley's coming in from behind, but Lowell's ready for that. He takes one shot, two shots, and he's down. Now it's Brody coming in from heaven. What can he do? One headshot. Brilliant. Takes down Patatech. It's still 1v3, but a little more favorable now at the very least. Has his recon dart available. He'll send that over to the left. It's going to be destroyed, but not before a millware is found. Now, one shot down onto Brody, and that shock dart comes close, but no cigar. Monster's on top of the box. No spray down for Brody as Monster plays between the uh, pillars. Heretic. But there's only 30 seconds left. Look yeah, at this. Th that's the trademark of heretics, right? Oh. Yeah, exactly. The late push. Alarante, he's keeping up what he did last game with that headshot. And it's now a 5v4. They're going to get the spike down just about through that. Yeah, just about. The kill will come through onto Lowell, though. From the back, though, Monster, he comes all the way around, and he'll find that one. It's Russ now by himself with the Odin. Knows there's one in his spawn, also knows there's one in front of him. It's a difficult situation to be in, that you have to check every corner. And out comes a lockdown from behind. He's going to have to push all the way through here, and Patatech's ready for that. He was asleep at the wheel for a second there, but doesn't matter if Russ <laughs> is facing the wrong way. Well, there are two players ready on B to meet them. Two players on their way over, and one player on the flank. Stanley. I thought Ooh. it was the headshot from the show. Uh -oh. Yeah, I was going to say, Monster. He's holding down the flank, and he'll take down one. Polby, he's going to do a little bit of damage. Stanley there with the Sheriff. Patatech will take down Polby, and now they push through. Shock dart, no damage whatsoever. Cray, he's trying to get some shocks through the smoke. Uh, but at this point, Heretics, they've all moved into their positions uh, where they want to be. We can back all the way out here. Alarante Oof. comes around the corner. One quick tap. The spray doesn't land, and Russell get the trade, but a Miller. He's already taken down Stanley now, and it's only one player, Patatech. He takes down Russ. This time, the At Viper wall commits it to B, but Patatech is moving very slowly. He's more of a lurker Ooh. there. Alarante, of course, Alarante. opens it up with a first blood, and Polvi in yellow area is a little bit in an awkward spot, but he knows oh, that this is the left. only Polvi attempt to, ta to plant. The oh. only attempt. Oh. Oh. If only players could see through walls like we do, that would have been... An easy kill, but now it's 2v2 and the Viper's Pit is committed from Patatech. It's going to keep him away from that spike just a little bit, but he's not going inside it himself. And meanwhile, he's holding down this angle towards Snowman, just making sure no one's there, but nope. Stanley, he turns around the corner backwards. Can't blame him. He was looking over towards the Viper's Pit, making sure he wasn't going to die from there. Now Cray knows that there's somebody Snowman at the very least, but uh, I don't think he's... Got any plans of defusing the spike at this point? And Miller, he'll finish it off, and it's 5 1 to Team Heretics. Those are some convinced. Miller, he pushes in, he sees two of them, and that's all the players there. And Hunter's Fury is gonna hit Stanley once, hit Stanley twice. There we go, he's down. The wall comes up. Cray is gonna be able to break it, but not get the kill. Hun uh, Monster is there for the headshot. That's a good shot, Dart. Does a lot of damage onto both Monster and Alarante. Alarante doesn't quite find the headshot onto Brody. So him and Russ, they can push in through CT. Just a little bit, gain themselves some space. Brody, he checks a corner, but. Uh, how does he get away with that? The, the shots hit the wall and don't find the head of Lowell. Lowell will get the kill and, well, at this point, you got to back up, save that operator. Yeah, this is pretty tough for Tenstar right now. They are scrambling for for anything when it comes to economy. They are just on scraps and saving oh. that operator is, will be imperative. 
and Paul mm -hmm. manages to get out of it. But now you're gonna see heretics uh -oh. are just gonna go for a hunt. They know they have yeah. so much economy, they can just go and try to get as many kills as possible. Oh, they are okay, oh, they, they're oh, pecking no, them into a corner. Back turn back around, Polvi! No! no! Oh, he oh, gets them! Go. Hey, you know what? Man! Oh no! Oh my. And Lowell will have the orb, sorry, the ultimate, if he gets that orb, but he opts not to. Oh wow, Brody, he finds a kill with the Marshal. Alarante's there with the trade. Well, it's a 4v3 now, the Swamp Grenade comes out, that'll hurt Lowell a bit. And it's gonna push him away from the site, more importantly, stop him getting that spike down. Just for a second longer, Alarante, he's there with a second headshot onto Cray. He'll back out over towards Yellow. Where Path Attack, he's heading towards Snowman. Nobody's actually there. Lowell will use that res that he just gained onto a Milwar. And Alarante, he's still going massive. Paul V and Stanley, though, they're bringing it back. It's a 2v2. Pathetic still over towards Snowman. I don't think they know he's there. Paul V will come through. A Mill was there with one headshot. But Paul V, he's immediate with those knives. He'll push over towards Sight. He needs to get that spike. But Pathetic just sprays it down. He'll find the headshot in one shot. Small confusion. A here. He's right at the edge of this lockdown. Shoulder peeking everyone. Oh, that was almost a collapse. And Polvi finds the body of a Milwa. He's turning back around the corner, but Patatek's good for the headshot. I don't know. Russ is in maze here. Might actually take one down. He turns around the corner. He'll find one headshot onto Patatek. Finish it off with a body shot through the wall. And Gray is coming through on mid. He'll find another one. And that's the second round for 10 star. They get tempted. God, Polvi is so aggressive again with the operator. Look at how close he is playing. And he gets a pick onto Lowell and gets away for free. That is. Such a ballsy play. Somebody could have punished him so easily there. He gets away with it, and that's what I love to see. Well, Monster, he's going to be tagged up by the Aldrone and back out with that. Alarante in the meantime. He's keeping up his streak of headshots. He'll find Stanley, and Pastatek has taken up shop in mid. Alarante's going to move in, clear all the utility from the site. That pesky kills your utility. We don't want that there. Let's get it out of the way. Well, there is the res available for... Uh, Tensar, but that is in an awkward position to get the res. I don't think that's going to be used. The uh, Just the Bladestorm for Team Heretics in terms of ultimates. We still have a lockdown for Tensar if Kray doesn't get killed by Alarante here. Here we go, the Bladestorm is used. Oh, but Kray is good with two headshots immediately. I think that was a double tap. I don't think he even sprayed there. Russell take down a Milwa and they move in. Well, the Viper's Pit is now used from Team Heretics because they know, oh, that's one of their only chances to keep this. I think Patatek just got Body shot through the wall. That's going to take him down to 30 HP and 10 star. They are just spraying them down. Monster is the last one left. But, oh, one onto Polvi. And it's a 1v2. Can he clutch it out? Both players coming from the same oh. location. No, Brody will spray him down. Pushes Alarante. He's going to go for this. He doesn't actually have much utility. Polvi, he'll find the first pick onto Patatek. Just walking into the Hunter's Fury. One gets tagged up there. I'm oh, sorry, that was his own team's Hunter's Fury even. So, he wouldn't have been too bad if he got hit by it. But, Stanley, first headshot. Onto a mill where Alarante there with the trade. He's not missing those. Brody, he'll take down Monster on the other side of the map in the meantime. But the spike is going to be put down by Team Heretics. There's only two players here, though. They're playing against four of the ten star players. Alarante's already taken down by Cray, and they still have their res and their lockdown available. So they can just push in. Doesn't matter. Paul V's there with the shot. He pushes in off the back of that Al drone. He won't find the first pick. Oh, no. Just misses every shot. And Monster will get away with that one. Someone three pushes through though. Ah, uh, yeah. Second try. Not going to happen. Russell takes down one. Stanley again. Russ again. And they come through to burn it into a 3v2. It looks like they're going to be taking this round. Unless Pastatech can find the head of Stanley. Bring it back to the 2v2. Now, they have lower HP, but they might be able to just find these heads. Brody will come in from the side. Take down Alarante, and it's just Pastatech left. He's avoided the recon dart. Taken a headshot onto Brody. Can he find the second onto Russ? Oh he can. my Look god, a K from Patatek. And he'll win the round four. <laughs> they might put something in there. I mean, they were a bit late to the uh, to the first game, maybe. <laughs> yeah, they, they were partying a bit too hard. Anyway, <laughs> I should probably stop before I get fired. In comes Russ. He'll take the first pick down onto a Milwa. That's ah, a positive start to this round. And Stanley will come through onto Patatek as well, who's distracted by the player up in towards box there. Russ is going to be able to get that spike down, get out of there for free. And well, all five players are still alive. That's best case scenario, forcing up into this round. Monster, he'll come through, but not find the pick onto Polvi. He's down to 63 HP now. Knows that there's probably at least one player below, but probably doesn't know there's two, so they'll just spray his legs down. He's going to get away with his life, but Alarante coming around the corner. Headshot onto Polvi, but Polvi's found another one, and Cray, he comes through onto Alarante. It's a 4v1 now. A lot of players on... And so they can just move in pretty aggressively. Uh, cross says a little low. Oh, and he'll get sprayed down through the smoke. It's a brilliant reveal as well. Lowell will have to use the heal on himself, and... 
Russ, he can get in and plant the spike very soon here. Shot rings out from Lowell. Not going to hit. He's going to get traded a lot of shots towards him, though. Emil are trying to find a little shot through there. Oh, that's a bit of damage from the shot up, but the second one doesn't quite make it over the wall. Unfortunate. Ambitious wall, I have to say. Very yeah, risky well, for, for finders because they could have got the Sage killed very easily. Yeah. Uh, they got away with it, so they can back up. Not able to get very nice post plant positions. All three of them stacked over towards yellow. Stanley, though, he'll come through from mid and take down Alarante. Polvi onto a mill where a monster gets a trade for Stanley there. But nothing you can do. They're going to have to save up again. Yeah, this is not... Oh, no. Alarante. He's been revealed there, and Polvi with the immediate headshot. Oh, he'll take my. that down. Patatek. He's now getting pushed down by the rest of the team, but he probably doesn't know they're that close, so he's going to back all the way up and give them space. Look, here comes Russ. He's got the spike in hand, and he's pushing all the way forward. He'll actually go straight through the wall into Maze here. Ooh, not quite finding the shots onto Pathetic, but Pathetic doesn't find the shots onto him. He can get in towards Sight, get that spike down. Nope, <laughs> no wall there anymore. Pathetic's already sprayed it down. He has a Viper's Pit available as well. You can see there are actually three players over towards B, so they're going to rotate round. Now... There are actually two players staying towards mid. Viper's pick committed early, and out comes the Hunter's Fury. That'll actually find Brody. It's a good shot. Cray, he'll take down Patatek. This game sleeping over towards A. It's all is over the place. Like, yeah. you can't even catch the frags because they're just so chaotically happening all two over the map. Two at the same time. Well, Lowell, he's stuck over towards here. And out comes the Hunter's Fury in return from 10-star. Monster comes around the corner. He'll find one, but not the spray down. Those two swarm grenades, but that's both swarm grenades used on the side of Team Heretics at this point. So he has to oh. back out, and he's met with the barrel of Stanley, and they can just move forward. Stanley's going to get the spike down, and it's back in uh, Tensar's favor at this point. I almost called them finest. Oh, Polvi. No, he's not ready for that. Oh, and Amir will spray him down. Takes a little bit of damage, but it's good enough. And Noel will come through in CT. Backed up by one player. Now, Tensar, they're sandwiched into sight. Difficult location. Crail spray down one, get the headshot. Alarante's there with the trade. It's just two 10 star players on site. Oh, Brody going aggressive, and he'll find one head, two heads, it's clean! And now it's just Alarante coming in from behind. If anybody can do it, it is Alarante, but he's not got much time left, and he needs to make it quick. The recon dart won't find him, he'll already push through. He's only got 63 XP, and Stanley sprays him down. 11 round hit. Russ does, though. He's got no armor left at that point. It's a nice martial shot straight through the smoke. It'll find one. They're going to push over towards site, though, where, well, Team Heretics, they've had to give up that location. They don't have the weapons to do anything. Stanley will catch the flanker on Alarante. That's Ooh, a blade storm down. Patatek's found one, and Lowell's found another, but trades are coming out all over the place. And all oh, coming in from behind now. Stanley, he'll take the head off of Lowell. Gap of that one there, but all oh, that shock die is going to do a lot. Patatek sprays down Stanley, but he can't find Polvi. Polvi's there for the trade, and... In a mill that comes to fill in his place. The wall is already down from 10 star, but they still need to get in and get that spike down if they want to win this round. They come through Maze. Polvi will find one, and that spray down is just going to take both of them down. Monster comes in massive from the side, and it's down to a 2v2 once again. And Polvi and Brody, and they head towards site. Is there enough space there to get that spike down? I don't think so. I think they have to go all the way around. That's unfortunate. The wall's a bit too close. That oh, is really it. unlucky. Yeah, well, at least Team Heretics, they have backed up a little, which gives Tensar the time to get all the way around, but it's also putting a lot of pressure on them. They don't know when they're going to come around the corner. Polvi, he's there with the trade. Oh. He won't get the ace. Monster. Savior of the round. This and Team Heretics will retake with the lockdown, but since Tensar approached the, the round in an aggressive manner before planting, they basically didn't force that Killjoy lockdown because of... Last round. Well, no, well he's pushing up mid. Oh, but he's going to get sandwiched by all the 10-star players here if he's not careful. And Oh, and Miller, he'll find the first pick, and the wall goes up just in time to stop Russ from getting the Ooh. trade. I'm not sure if he knew Russ was there, but it was a great pick either way, or a great idea either way, sorry. Well, they wanted to get the guns Ooh. from the body. Yeah. That's why the wall went down. So it was a happy coincidence. Worked out very nice, yeah. But Stanley, this lurk oh is God. so big. Oh, he's going to make footsteps, though, no matter what. Oh, he's been ca caught out by the... Turret, did anybody notice that? I don't think they noticed because they think yeah. it was someone oh, from he's yellow. he's going to get a pick because of it. Yeah. Patatek, he's on site. He could probably get this pick onto... Ooh! Hold on a sec. Back. He'll take the pick onto Stanley instead. And Russ turns around the corner, finds the immediate headshot. Just about gets it. So they can back out. But it's a 2v3 now. And uh, Heretics, I don't have any arts, but they could definitely make this work. Maybe... I was wondering oh, no, if he can probably, go for the res yeah, mid, but it's not, mid, yeah. not enough time. 
Yeah, that would be leaving the site to one person to uh, defend. Difficult situation. And Millwall will take down Brody. And now it's looking like it might have been a good idea. Russell take down one. <gasps> the second headshot. He can't stay away from the Hunter's Fury. He dodges two. Okay, he can rest that. And he's going in towards Millwall. And Millwall, so suddenly, what is Russ doing? Oh, oh my god! What, god. what a play! <laughs> oh, Stanley! Oh, Stanley, he'll find two. Look at that. Brilliant position, and he got the picks. Past Tech, he'll clean up the mess in the end. But now they're one player down, and Polvi just takes up the position that Stanley just left. Russ coming in from behind. He takes down Monster. Uh, well, past Tech and Amilwe, they're stuck in a corner. And Polvi, one kill. Just one player left. It's the birthday boy by himself. And they know where he is. Yeah. And there's Polvi. Finish it off. Come. He's going to use his Al drone to push through. Along with that, uh, Lear is going to send them back, but Stanley, he just takes up the position and he'll spray down Alarante there. Ouch. That's got to hurt. On this bonus round here for 10-star, getting those picks is massive. Left. And it's going to take down the uh, Heretics team to just... It's going to kill their confidence at this point. Brody, he's coming in from behind. Look at that, and he's taken a pick already. Cray, he's just going to spray down these members that come through. That's one. Patsetek gets the trade in the end, but it's only one kill this round so far, and, and ten they seconds have to left. Move in and get the spike down. Yeah. Smoke goes out. Patsetek trying to spray him down, but Russ, he's already killed them. They just walk on through. Lowell will take another one, but he's on 20 HP now. Can't get the spike down. Russ will do it, and uh, it's a clean bonus round. And at this point, you just want to Give yourself the best advantage going into the next half as possible. Heretic set swarming in towards A, but Polby, he's there with the operator. Two kills go out for Team Heretics, but trades from Russ. And Miller, he'll cut that one off, but it's a 2v2 now. And they still haven't got the spike down at this point. They have to check double doors before they get that down. Over here, between... Oh, there we go. It's going to be planted. In a position that is visible from Cave. I assume that's where they're going to head back to, but no, for now, they're just sitting there. Amilwa, that's, ooh, that's a lot a of damage. Bit of damage, yeah. They're going to head in. Cray has already got Alarante here, and it's just Amilwa. He's stuck between the pillars of the pyramids, even, and Sandy will just spray him down and... 10 star. I'm not sure what's going on on the side of Engle. He's not going to let anyone through too easily. That's the first pick. Oof. He does get traded out by Alarante. He's good for the headshot. Monster, he'll take down Brody, and for the first time in the game, they've got an advantage in the round. They're going to head over there, get the spike down, and 10 star. They congregate all the way around. One coming in from Double Doors, one from Cave, and one over from CT. You should run. In comes Russ. He's looking for that first pick. He's not going to find it. Alarante takes down Cray. He's on fire right now. He's really feeling it. In comes Russ, and he's just pushing all the way through this. <gasps> he doesn't, doesn't quite kill get that. the oh. 5 HP monster. It's a for Team Heretics. Okay, oh, and this is a disaster really? as well. Just getting a tag for the smoke happens, you know? And they lose and the again. best player. Oh, and again, 10 star have opened it up. Not with one, but with two kills. The Viper's Pit has been committed towards B, and they've just held down A completely. So what can Team Heretics do? Rock and a hard place quite literally. Well, gas and a, a heavy, like, weapon-loaded place. Really? Uh, like, <laughs> at this point... Oh, and Russ just sprays him down! He's looking for the third path to take! Gets the trade in the end, but now he's playing against three players, four players, all from each side. And, oh, yeah. Stanley just comes in from the back, finishes it off. And, and they're pushing for the snake mites. They're pushing oh, for the wow. snake bite oh, and just no, getting demolished, man! Sprays it down! Out comes the Hunter's Fury. That's going to tag up Craig just about. Monster, he'll take down Russ after Russ goes massive with two, but... Well, now they're on site, and they're low on HP, and... The spike, how can you get towards that? You have to wait for that, uh, that, that refuel wall to come back up again. Yeah, although that smoke is helping, so I'm not sure why they're not trying to plant. Now they go there for it. Go. Okay. Pulls back up, they can get that down. Snake bite, that'll push you well away. Cray, he's trying to find an angle here from CT as the rest of the team, they all move in. Polvi, he's committed the blade storm and he's going to come in from mid tunnel here. Uh, hits the uh, swan grenade. Oh, Ooh. that's a massive shot dart from a shot Millwall. Dirt. Shot dart will take out Brody. Polvi, he's moved in all the way to site, though. I don't think they know somebody's that close. No shot. He's going to come around the corner. They're still watching that corner. Polvi, he's two. But Patatek gets one. Stanley's there for the trade. Ten start up. <laughs> Six, well, he's well at 16. 10 kills. Yeah, 16, exactly. That is almost two kills around at this point. 
Polvi, he's going to hold down eight. That's oh one pick. My oh my he's god! Oh my god! Alarante's just on the other side of this. He'll take down Stanley, but now, oh, oh, close. And Polvi's caught out position there by Monster. Monster, he's bringing it back. They both have their ultimates available. Cray, he'll kill Monster there, and now it's just 26 HP 26 on Alarante. HP. It was really hanging on Monster that attack. He, he no, is clinging to a one classic body He's shot health. Russ. He's moving towards Russ. He doesn't check the corner. Monster lockdown. He knows oh, about Stanley. this. He's just going through. He what knows about that? this. It's such a smart play by Stanley. He only knew to push that angle because Monster has his lockdown ready. And lockdown is always being put oh. by Team Heretics in that one spot. They such a good read. They have done their VOD reviews. They have done their VOD reviews and it's... Well, I mean, Team Heretics, I've had no time to do VOD reviews. They don't know how Tensar play on this map whatsoever. Both of their last games in 20 that they've played this on have been in the last two days. They have very limited information. I'm not saying it's unfair, but Whoops. it's... There we go, there's a trade from Alarante. Uh, a, a bit of a missed uh, dash there. But Russ, he's using the Seekers. Well, they, well, they know where he is now, so it's as much that as oh, the other the way. But Russ comes in from behind, and Stanley comes through, finishes it out. It's double digits in the half, and we haven't even played 12 rounds yet. Oh, he's around the corner, and he has his wall out. One pick, comes back round. Oh. Nah, he just about missed his lower there, so... He needed that second least, one. This is actually yeah. deficit for the defenders now. They right, lost a lot of power. Say, yeah, that is a... It difficult now. Well, Cray, he's... What are 10 start doing? They're just playing how they want to at this point. They've mm -hmm. already got 10 rounds in the half. They don't even need to do anything more, and they've still got an advantage in the next half whatsoever. Look at Cray going all the way through to their spawn now. Look at that. The, the kill Heretics, turret is always in the so same spot. Hesitant. Yeah. So Heretics are so hesitant to go in. Okay, here comes the lockdown. He'll actually get to use it this time. Oh, but both <laughs> of them go out at the same time. So that's going to be mutual, uh, mutual pushing out of position, and Cray is coming in from behind. He finds one. He's not there for the second Alarante. He's actually still... Well, th there is somebody awake at the wheel. He will find it. No players detained for either lockdown. It's three players on either side now. They still go towards A. Yeah. This might be the round oh, for Team Heretics. Okay, here we go. Alarante, he's popped the Empress. He's right next to Brody here, and Brody sat within the smoke. Goes back to the left side. Oh my god. Just 15 click. seconds. Just left click. Yeah, 15 there's only 15 seconds. seconds left. They have to push in now. In they go. And there that's is it. the kill. The spike is spike down. down. That's Mid. the round one Ten for Tensar. That's all it took. Two shots. That's it. Brody can now just. Well, I mean, they can spray him down all they want. They can't get on site. Yeah, that's Polly, it. He just commits his blades. He'll find one kill as well. Patatech finds that. But that's it. That's the half. I. Over there. And now. Alarante, he's going for the flank, but Brody's ready for this. He's up Is he? Here, Is he? Waiting. Oh, well. Both players whiffed a couple shots, but Alarante, he finds it in the end, which now puts pressure on the 10-star team, but Polvi, he plays one through the smoke. He's finding a second, a third, and now they know that both of these last players are coming in through cave. Look at the positioning from 10-star. They know. Oh, Alarante's my God, Alarante. Polvi, it's all on you. This 1v2 situation. The turret is spraying him down. He finds one headshot. Oh, my God. No. Oh, monster. Just and Russ, even though he used his ultimate last round, is still two out of six. Even though, you know what's even more important? He didn't get a single kill. He didn't shoot even once. He got. He gets the orb. He gets the the, sp the spike plant. Now he will get another orb. Most. Ooh, ooh. Let's see if he checks the full corner. Oh, no head there. Yeah, oh there it is. my Alarante's god! Down. That's the top fragger of the heretic side over this series. Already gone. Oh, over last series as well. Massively. Got almost sixty. Almost 60 kills. No, it was it was over 60 kills. No, almost 90, sorry, kills in last series. That's yeah. three, that three map series. You could question how big of an impact was the fact that they played such a uh, long, yeah, grueling exactly. series yeah. against Finus. It took us four hours yeah. to finish the series against Finus. It was a grueling match. Maybe, you know, Heretics just basically very possible. lost oh, a little bit of an Polly. energy. Here we go. The Blade Storm comes out. This could spell the end for her oh heretics monster he's down already and now they have full control of sight the heretics players they have to clutch us up only three versus five now the blade storm is out from polvi and he'll fire an operator shot towards ct not hit anything but doesn't matter it just puts the fear of god into heretics players and they're all coming in through mid and ct now polvi oh one is tagged up low all there the shot through the wall isn't going to find him the wall goes back up 
Cray is tagged down quite low there, and the paranoia is also going to hit him, but Russ is there. Is that it? Is it lights out? I think we are looking at Ten Star getting into the main event. Here we go. Amilwa, he takes down Russ. That's but there it. it is. The trade comes it. through and 